Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use Dev C++ for creating C and C++ applications on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So when you open your favorite browser and search for Dev C++, you will be able to see this official website for Dev C++, which is bloodshed.net. And when you go here and download the executable file for Dev C++, which is by clicking this button, for some reason, it doesn't work properly when you want to compile your C or C++ programs. So I'm going to give you an alternate link from where you can download the Dev C++ and that is going to work. This is the link. I'm going to put this link in the description of this video also so you can directly go to this website and then download the dev C++ from here. Or from the official website also when you click on this download original dev C++ 5 you will be able to see that it's redirected to this sourceforge.net website right. Also the link which I'm providing you is also on sourceforge.net uh, website. So just open this link which I am going to provide you in the description and then you just need to click on the download button here which is going to start the download of this executable file. So once this executable file is downloaded I'm going to click on this file and let me minimize this browser. So first of all you will see this kind of message which says do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes on your device. I will click on yes. And you can see the startup is starting slowly. So here on this first window, you can select the language in which you want to install uh, Dev C++. I will leave it as English and then click on okay. And then you can see the license terms and conditions window. Just click on I agree here. And then these will be the components which will be installed on your uh, Windows operating system when you will install dev C++. So here you can see all these uh, uh, components which will be installed. So I'm going to click on next here and then I'm going to click on install which is going to start the installation. So now you can see uh, the dev C++ tool has been installed on your Windows operating system and now it says completing the dev C++ uh, setup just leave this checkbox as checked so it's going to launch dev c++ on your windows operating system you can also see this dev c++ icon has been created on my desktop and you can see dev c++ has been started so when you start dev c++ for the first time it's going to give you this kind of window which is going to be shown only for the first time here you have the chance to change the language once again if you want i will leave it as english and then click on next and then you can select the font and you can select uh, the color and icons from here i will leave everything as default and click on next and then i'm going to click on ok which is going to start dev c++ so once this uh, dev c++ ide has been started let's try to create a C++ program in dev C++ so I'm going to click on file and then click on new and then click on uh, project from here I want to create a console application so I will select this console application and then I want to create a C++ project so I can just select this uh, C++ project radio button and then click on ok but before that you can also change the name of your project from here by default it's project one or two or three something like this i'm going to name my project as hello world and then click on ok and it's going to uh, ask me where do i want to save my program so i will just uh, go to a folder which i have created in, in my documents folder which is called c programs i'm going to save it under that so I'm going to just click on save and here you can see my C++ program has been created. Now here I can just uh, write a very simple C++ program like this and I'm going to save my main.c++ file. So by default 
you will be able to see uh, this main.c++ file which is created by Dave C++ for you. Just uh, write your code uh, in this main.dev C++ and then you can just uh, press Control S to save your main.cpp uh, file and just uh, click on save which is going to save your main.cpp file in your project. Once your file is saved, you can compile your program uh, using this button and then you can also run uh, the, your program using this uh, button. So let me click on this compile button which is going to compile my uh, C++ program and it says zero errors and zero warning. So my uh, program has been compiled and you can see it says that output file name is hello world.exe file. So when I click on this run button, let's see what happens. So I'm going to click on run button and you can see that our hello world is printed on this terminal. So everything is working fine for me. Let me also show you a few more things. So if you want to close your project, you can right click on the project and then close the project. And then you can uh, just confirm if you want to save the project before closing. So I will click on yes and then the project will be closed. Now let me show you how you can create a C project. So click on file and then click on new project and this time you need to select uh, C project here and then you can select the console application and you can change the name of your project. So I'm going to name my project as uh, C Hello World and then click on OK and this will be the location where my project will be uh, saved. You can change this location by clicking on this uh, browse button and then you can select the location where you want to save your project and then click on save which is going to create your C project. Once you have written your project just press Control S to save your project. This will be the file main.c. So just click on save and then compile your program by clicking on this uh, button which says compile. And once your program is compiled, it's going to show you this kind of message error zero warning zero. So if you see zero error and zero warnings, that means your program is compiled successfully. Then you can click on this run button to run your program and you can see this program is asking me to enter the first number. I'm going to just enter 10 and press enter. Then I am going to enter 25 and then press enter and it shows me the sum of 10 and 25 is 35. So it's working. So this is how you can create a C program in Dev C++. So this is how you can download and install and use Dev C++ on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.